Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Beast Life Bentley. On today's episode, we're gonna teach you how to trim your dog's nail. Now, it can be really scary at first, but we promise it's not that bad. So I'm gonna leave it to Bentley's mom and she's gonna show you how she cuts Bentley's nails and a few tips and tricks that she's learned over the last year or so that she's been doing it herself. All right guys, so today we have this nail clipper, which you can find easily off of Amazon or Chewy.com or anywhere. I think we got this off our pet store locally. Um, so I had to learn this on my own. Now, typically a dog's nail would have a quick in them where you'll see those, the pink. That's where the blood flow goes. That's the blood supply. Now you wanna avoid cutting that part because if you do cut that part, you're gonna have a bleeding nail. Then, what I like to do is put it up against the light and we have the light coming through from the window. I like to put it up against the light and I'll see where the quick ends. I'll go in real quick and just do a little quick snip. And doop, there we go. I'm sorry. We cut off that much from that nail, that one nail. And I've left a little bit more on it, just, you know, to be safe. I don't wanna deal with bleeding that way. If you're one of those lucky dog owners where you get your dog's nail that looks like this, where it's a little darker, Bentley, stop. When it's a little darker, that's when it gets a little trickier. So you put it up against the light, you can still somewhat see the quick in this one. So we usually use the other nails as a gauge for that. For the ones that are clear, then it's really simple. It's really straightforward. And most times I will need help from my other half to hold on to Bentley while I try to do this because I can't do this all by myself. I salute all you guys, the groomers, who can do this all by themselves. Like, heads off to you guys because you guys definitely do it way better than I can. Let's see. Okay. 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 Some people like to do it at an angle. Um, you can if you want to. Now, if your dog goes out on the road a lot, like where they can just naturally trim their nails, you don't really have to do this, but because for the past month, Bentley hasn't really been getting his walks, that's where his front nails, the paws, all their nails are just growing a little bit longer and he's slipping all over the place, so figured it's best to just keep it trimmed. His nails are really strong and hard. <laughs> How's that one? We still have a little bit more space, so you know, it's really up to you if you wanna go a little deeper or not. What do you think? Should we, should we cut a little bit more for um, that one? Or is that okay? I think that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. That should be all right. Are you doing this one now? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Sometimes if you cut too deep, you can see, you can't see on this one, but you can sometimes see the quick right at the end here where you, it's really close to where it's gonna start to maybe hurt them. I've never done that, so. All right, this one. Let's see. There we go. Snip. <laughs> Thank you, Bentley. Can you get all four? Four? Yeah. Oh, yeah. One paw done. The other paw. Good boy, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. I saw a video the other day where one one person, she put like a serene wrap around her forehead and then she put a whole bunch of peanut butter on top of her head. And she was like, you guys are laughing at me now. Wait till you see what I do next. So then she got her dog to lick the peanut butter off her forehead while she snips the nail off. Oh, this one's actually... It looks pretty good. Yeah, this, this one's actually pretty good. This one... Maybe I can do a little bit. <laughs>
<laughs> Belly. Yeah, that one's good. This one's not. This callus is so rough. Last one. Thank you. <laughs> no, man, I don't eat those. <laughs> Alright, last one, Bentley. Oh, this one's actually turning black. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and cut his, his hind legs, but there you have it. It's really simple, don't be scared. Um, this, is the, this is the nail trimmer that we use. We just got it at our pet shop here. It's pretty cheap. I think it was only like five, six dollars, not bad. Um, but some dogs can be really terrified, and like, like Bentley's mom said, maybe use some peanut butter or something to distract your dog, uh, and that can help a lot. <laughs> Just to play it safe, don't cut so deep at first, don't get too close, and then they'll be just fine. You don't have to worry about you know, harming them or making yeah. them bleed or anything like that. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave your comments down below, yeah. and don't forget to smash that subscribe button. We'll see you again on another episode of Beast Like Family.